All right, it is my privilege and honor to call the uh, business and governance meeting, committee meeting to order. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. All right, so let's get into new business. Uh, the, uh, I'm going to call David Bond up to talk about items number one and two because uh, he wants to, um, <laughs> and we want to accommodate. You know, it's it's and and we especially want to accommodate you because I'm told if we don't accommodate you, our IT just shuts down and we get nothing. So <laughs> take as much time as you need, David. Fire away. All righty. Uh, the first item is to approve a Sagitech maintenance agreement. SDSIR selected Sagitech solutions through a competitive process in 2011. The system known as IRIS was implemented in 2014. The original contract included five years post-implementation support and disaster recovery services. We are in year five of five and we need to renew. Staff is pleased with the current support model with Sagitech and therefore staff recommends the board approve this action for a five-year, a new five-year agreement with Sagitech for licensing, support, and disaster recovery services. As I see no questions in the queue, Cynthia, can we have the buttons? I'll make the motion. Seconded by Val. Ready to vote. Thank you. All votes are in. And that motion passes six to zero. Okay, item number two. SDSIR has implemented the SIRE agenda management and voting system back in 2009. The system you're currently using in the boardroom is uh, 10 years old now. Highland has just released their next generation software suite rebranded as OnBase. And Highland remains a market leader with a fully integrated end-to-end -end solution for agenda creation, meeting management, and video streaming. Highland is incentivizing their current, uh, their existing client base to migrate and has offered SDSERS a like-for-like -like functionality, so the things we have now we will get. Uh, basically, that software is free, and the consulting services to, uh, to convert, migrate, and train um, will be $91,000, approximately $91,000, but they're offering us a discount off the software, so if we had to pay for each one of these pieces of software, uh, they have offered us an a $111,000 discount off list price. So they're really sweetening the deal for us. The city uses the same system for uh, their creation of their uh, city agenda process, but they don't do the board meeting. They don't have the whole soup to nuts sire system like we have. Okay. So. With that, uh, staff recommends that we approve this action item and proceed with an upgrade. Okay, seeing nobody in the queue, Cynthia, can we have the buttons? And I'll make the motion. Motion is seconded by Tom Thomas. Ready to vote. All right. All votes are in. And that motion passes six to zero. David, thank you very much. Thank you. Susan, um, I understand that you want to speak on the staff's recommendation to deny Sheila Owen's appeal. What's going on here? These people coming up to the podium. I know exactly. This has been my problem. <laughs> I, I've got, I've, I've, there's been a mutiny by staff. They're 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 completely hijacking my agenda. It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> thank you for your support, Val. I appreciate uh -huh. that. Um, Susan, fire away. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, staff recommends that the B and G committee deny Ms. Owens' appeal. She is present today. Ms. Owens is the widow of a deceased member. Uh, the member when he joined the system, uh, named his son as the beneficiary for the, and when he died, he was still an active member, so the son now receives the active death benefit. We gave Ms. Owens ample time to appeal this. However, she failed to do so in a timely manner, and therefore we suggest that the board um, deny Ms. Owens' appeal. My understanding is that we actually extended the deadline twice for her to, to appeal, and she didn't do it before Correct. either of those deadlines. Yes. Okay. Um, I guess the question is, uh, Ms. Owens, I understand you're here. Do you intend to speak or do you want to speak? Okay, thank you very much. All right, I don't see anybody in the queue. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'd like to make the motion to uh, deny the appeal. Uh, Cynthia, can we get the buttons up? Seconded by Roberta. Ready to vote. Okay. All votes are in. And that motion passes six to zero. Thank you. Thank you. All right, item number four. Um, this was going to be my first matter that we were not going to have to have a presentation. 
But in this case, I, I do want to say that I've actually, there's some, there is some information that is not in your board material, which is why this presentation is particularly relevant, because it came down the pike yesterday. And I want to thank Jamie and her little tiny assistant, Ted, who helped her <laughs> marginally at best in this process. Jamie, please go ahead. Please tell us what happened. Thank you. Uh, we wanted to let you know that staff was able to further negotiate an additional discount with Wells Fargo to obtain a 5% uh, discount on their proposed fees. This results in a total of a 40% discount from our current fees that we're paying. In addition to this, we have the opportunity to earn interest, which can help offset some, if not all, of those fees. Okay, and for all of those disgruntled customers of Wells Fargo, uh, Jamie's number is 619-872-6767. She will happily show you how to renegotiate your issues with Wells Fargo. Okay, great. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We will... Uh, um, Whoever's phone number that is is going to be pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what can I tell you? I apologize in advance then for whoever that is. <laughs> um, all right, so I'd like to make the – I don't see anybody in the queue. Um, does anybody have any questions? All right, let's get the motion up, if we could, Cynthia, f to um, select our retail banking relationship. Ready to vote. All votes are in. And that motion passes six to zero. Okay. All right, under new business, um, the board election update, I guess Jessica is going to come up and talk to us about that. And she has promised me she's going to do it so briefly we won't even know she was here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. God. <laughs> All right, I'm right on your speed. Um, good morning, nice to see all of your faces. Uh, the online nom nomination process for the retired trustee and active police safety trustee seats are now live as of 22 minutes ago. Uh, members in those categories were mailed instructional letters uh, and have until Wednesday, January 30th to nominate. And if more than one candidate is nominated, we'll conduct an election, and that will run from February 14th to February 28th. And with that, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Seeing nobody in the queue, thank you very much. Cynthia, right. can we have the buttons? Oh, do I have two on her? Oh, we don't. Wait. Nope. Next one. Though. No, I'm sorry. We don't have two on her. I apologize. All right. So the next one is under old business. Item number one, action requested. This is regarding the staff's recommendation to renumber board rule number 1.1. And Johnny, thank you for not talking about this matter. Um, I'd like to move that we renumber the board rule. And if I can get those buttons, it'd be awesome. That motion is seconded by Roberta. And ready to vote. All votes are in. And that motion passes six to zero. Okay, on the next two items, uh, there is no action requested. I don't see anybody in the queue, so we're gonna move to the status reports. Cynthia, I think you wanna discuss the first one for member services. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. January is traditionally a busy month for our call center because we do an annual mailing to to our 3,000 members who seek reimbursement for their Medicare premiums. We knew it would be even busier this year because the premiums have gone up across the board, so we were ready for it. But um, last, last three years, the average calls per day in January have been about 140, and in these first two weeks of January, we're already up to about 200 calls a day. So hopefully that just means everybody's taking care of things right away, and we appreciate that. But the call center is doing a great job, and we appreciate what they're doing. Now, I've talked to you about how we utilize our introductory message when people call the call center. We have information regarding the reimbursement on the introductory message, but I'm pleased that we can offer a personal conversation to people who are looking for that. So folks still would like to speak with a representative, and we're glad that with the size of our system, we're able to do that. You can call in anytime during business hours, and we're going to answer that phone. Now, even with the high volume of calls, of course, I'm here to tell you, Val, that the call center has been beating their average wait time. So I'm very pleased about that. Now, December was much slower, which is a nice way to end the year. And the average wait time was only five seconds, which is nice to brag about when it's a slow month. But what do we do when it's super busy? So it takes focus no matter whether it is a busy month or a slow month to keep that call center moving. They have a lot of different tasks and 
lot of challenges. I'm very <coughs> proud of them. Now, um, at the last meeting, I told you we had hired a new person due to some promotions that we've had because we have depth and bench strength at SD SERS. So we hired a new person from the outside, but I didn't want to introduce them until they had passed the training or hazing portion of coming to SD SERS because the call center is a very hard job. So today, I'm very pleased to introduce... Sarima Valenzuela. She's been here since November in our call center and she's doing a great job. Sarima has a strong background in customer service and has worked at several local law firms. Please consider that a positive. Attorneys on the board, we're pleased with her um, experience that she has there. So she's been doing a great job and I'd like everyone to welcome her. Welcome. Thank you, Sarima. And I heard she scored the highest of any recruit in uh, dripping candle wax and holocaust clothes, so I, I appreciate that. That's fantastic. That's correct. So, so That's correct. Val, uh, excuse me, Thanasi is very familiar with our procedures yes, here. Yes, thank you. So I, if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, thank you very much. All right. Thank you very, very much. All right. Marcel? Good morning. So <clears throat> I want to add on to part of what Cynthia was talking about. There were about 3,000 letters mailed out. The deadline to return your request for reimbursement for Medicare Part B premiums to guarantee that you'll be paid in the January check for that is today. As of yesterday, we had received over 1,600 requests back. So staff is working very hard on that. I have our health team working on it, as well as Paul Detchen and Maria Gonzalez from BEM Benefits Administration are helping out with that. We anticipate getting through all of those in time for the January payroll. All is not lost if you didn't meet the deadline. You get it to us after that. It just means it'll be picked up in February, and it does go retroactive to January. So, so, so. the 1,400 people that haven't responded Six, yeah. are either are either uh, deceased or we've been paying them far too much in their reimbursement on the pension side in the first place. Is that kind of how that boils down? Mm, probably yeah. more just trying to get through the holidays. Okay. So. The other thing I wanted to mention was in my report last board meeting, I talked about additional training that Benefits Administration is doing. So Fong Nguyen from my staff has taken up that mantle. And in, recently, he conducted training on how to calculate a benefit to our finance, legal, member services, and health teams. So something that they're not used to doing and got some insight into how we calculate benefits. Awesome. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have on anything else in my report. All right, I see nobody else in the queue. <clears throat> then I'll ask the question. Items number, thank you very much, Marcel. Items number three through seven, I don't see anybody in the queue, but I want to give you an opportunity to quickly get your, your request in. Seeing none, I, um, I, am, I move to adjourn the Business and Governance uh, Committee meeting.